begin my speech today fully. The word of the day is determination. Now, today has been kind of a rough day for me. I'm probably having the worst day of my allergies. And I said, all right, today is my final Toastmasters meeting of all times. I'm going to go up there and read my speech right off the script. But you know what? This is Toastmasters, and we do determination. So, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to need this right now. We're just going to go off the script and do whatever. August 30th, 2009. I was at the Rutgers University Involvement Fair, two days before my 18th birthday, two days before I started the adventure of my undergraduate degree, two days before I started this epic time in my life. Everyone always told me, college is the best years of your life. It will be the happiest moments. You'll always look back at it with a smile. What they fail to tell me is, if you're an engineering student, you're going to hate your life because you're studying all the time, and you'll see your life being ripped to pieces. So there I was at Voorhees Mall, seeing all the colorful different tables, confused by all the clubs, the fraternities, the sororities, everyone. In this giant mess of this chaos crowd, I heard someone screaming to my left, join Toastmasters International, a public speaking and leadership development club. This voice had belonged to our current president at the time, Rasika. Now, I remember hearing the name of this club from my father. He told me how great it was and how he joined it. So with the shrug on my shoulders, I decided to put my name on the emailing list and grab one of the flyers. A few weeks later, I was in the Cap and Skull room in the Rutgers Student Center where I was at my first Toastmasters meeting. I was intimidated. There were so many great speakers in the room. It didn't help that the area governor was there as well. But by the end of the meeting, I knew I wanted to join that group. I wanted to be part of them. So I signed up for membership right on the first day. Now in that first year of Toastmasters, I became involved with the club. I did table topics, I started my competent communicator. I enjoyed myself. And I slowly went to these meetings more and more over, the, over that first year. And I realized Toastmasters was making me happy. I had spent so much time just studying, studying, studying because of all my engineering classes that I realized that when I went to Toastmasters, I felt so much more relaxed. I felt such a friendly environment. Everyone was encouraging, trying to make us be a better person. So when the end of that school year came, I decided I wanted to be part of Toastmasters further. I wanted to join the executive board. So I had signed up to become secretary, and I was very happy to receive the role. However, I had this lingering thought at the back of my head. Will I be able to do all this work on top of all my engineering things? Luckily, it seemed like that was not a concern at the moment. So I began my second year. At the time, our current president was Tara Kusha, and she had just returned from her amazing summer from California, working at Google as a bold intern. Now, this was a great thing. She became almost like a mentor to me. She had seen my work as secretary and how much I had done and always encouraged me to work harder. But I was only a sophomore. I didn't really care about summer jobs or internships. I just wanted to do the best that I could, just survive. But she definitely had me motivated to work harder. While I was working harder at Toastmasters, I decided to go for the role of president. And at the same time, I had also first completed my competent communicator, a huge achievement for myself and members of the club. So the school year ended, and I had become the president for the following school year. My junior year started, as well as my presidency at Toastmasters. It was a great time, except for one unfortunate issue. My personal life had blown up in my face, and everything was going down the drain for me. It seemed to be so, such a torturous time. Going to my classes was getting harder and harder every day, and keeping up with my courses was just way too difficult. But the one light for me during that time was Toastmasters. Through all of that pain and depression that I was going through at that time, the one thing that kept me to push forward was being the president of Toastmasters. Whether it was conferences, contests, workshops, I tried to give the presidency of Toastmasters my best shot. I ended that year, and I stopped being president. Now, a lot of people question me whether they're inside a Toastmasters or outside or just not even at Rutgers at all. Why would you give up the position of being a president of a club? Was there something wrong? And I told them the one simple answer that makes sense for Toastmasters International. We are a public speaking and leadership club. You can never tell how great of a leader you are unless you see how well your successors do. So, during my senior year, I was very happy to see the success of our new president and my personal friend, Amanda Lim. She had done an amazing job at Toastmasters as president. Now, during that time, I had luckily gone through my depression, but through it, there was a lot of rubble that I had to sort through. So I took a back seat at Toastmasters that year. I wanted to work more than an advisor for a club, even though I was unable to attend. 
So I spent the last school year just focusing on my schoolwork and trying to get my grades up to what I wanted it to be. But I always knew that I had a home at Toastmasters if I ever wanted to come back. Now, during these past four years, I didn't think that all this hard work would actually lead up to something amazing. The encouragement I received from our past president, Tara, turned out to be an opportunity of a lifetime. That summer, summer 2013, I received the most amazing opportunity to be an intern at Google as a gold intern, a prestigious program with only, with only a 10% acceptance rate. This is an amazing opportunity to me. I returned back to Rutgers University as a Google Student Ambassador, but my heart belonged to Toastmasters. So once again, I decided to help out my friend James and be an advisor for Toastmasters, as well as a technical consultant. A lot of students here at Rutgers University will tell you that they all join the eBoard for a club, and once they're done being president or receiving their own personal accomplishments for the club, they would just leave. But for me, it was, Toastmasters wasn't just about having something to put on my resume, becoming a better speaker. It was about being a family. It was about supporting one another. I may have been, I may have become an excellent speaker during my time during Toastmasters, but I had a lot to give to others, so I always wanted to come back. Now, I always tell people about how I would never have received this amazing internship experience from my past, and I would never have my future path without Toastmasters International. However, the real answer is, I would have never survived college if it wasn't for Rutgers University Toastmasters International. These five years have been the craziest, most exerting years of my life, where I've seen the darkest times of my life, but I've also had the happiest moments of my life. And it never would have been there for Toastmasters. During my time at presidency, so many members of the e-board held my hand as I got through my problems, but they would support me by helping me through our events and making us to be the best e-board that we could possibly be. Toastmasters International. And here at Rutgers, we may, we may not be a fraternity or a sorority, but we are family here. And that's what makes Toastmasters so special to me in my heart. So my final words today and my final meeting here at Rutgers University at Toastmasters, my first and one true love here that always put a smile on my face is, join Toastmasters International, where leaders are made, and most importantly, friends and family. Thank you very much for these amazing five years here at Toastmasters. Thank you.